All right, what's going on, guys? So today there was some important Call of Duty news. In a turn of events, instead of getting sued themselves, Activision is actually suing someone else. They filed a lawsuit against Engine Owning, which I guess is one of the biggest Warzone and Call of Duty cheat distributors out there. Now, I haven't really played recently, but I still see people on Twitter every single day complaining about getting killed by hackers, so I guess it's still a pretty big issue. Actually, just when I was about to start playing again is when they added in fucking Krampus to the game. So once I loaded up the game and I saw that, I was like, yeah, never mind, I'm good. I'm gonna just stick to Halo for now. Just a side note, since I mentioned it, are we all in agreement that Krampus is the most brain dead dumbest shit they have ever added into call of duty like what's the point of it i, I don't really know like i don't want to overreact in the moment but i think it might be the worst thing they've ever put in call of duty at the very least it's got to be up there in the discussion and whoever came up with the idea of krampus like no offense man but like you legitimately need to be fired because you are terrible at your job and you have to truly be completely out of touch with the call of duty community to ever think that that was a good idea to put into the game honestly i hope krampus finds you in real life for ruining the game but anyways back to the lawsuit right so if you read some of the details apparently they are going to be seeking twenty five hundred dollars per violation so i don't know if it's exactly clear what per violation means but just for an example people already did some of the math there are over 300,000 accounts on the engine owning website. So just some quick math on that. 300,000 times $2,500 per violation is about $750 million. That's kind of a crazy number right now. Maybe I'm just unaware of how much money these people really make doing this, but I don't think they have $750 million to pay you. And even if they did, I would guess that they probably are not going to be paying that much because that's kind of how like legal stuff usually goes, right? Like you always aim really high. You aim for the max because usually you're going to end up getting less than that. You know what I mean? So you don't want to start at your actual goal because then you're going to go lower and end up getting way less. You know what I mean? So they usually try to like go to the extremes with stuff like this. But that's a pretty crazy number, right? Like, depending on how they classify what violation means, like, that could be getting up to, like, a billion dollars, which is kind of wild to think about. And then there is one final aspect of this case that I think is probably pretty important. So, according to Activision themselves, the people that run this website are based in Germany. Now, I'm not a lawyer, but I do know... Once a case becomes like an international thing, things definitely start to get more complicated. So I don't know what's going to end up happening with this, but I don't think it's going to be a very simple thing to resolve. It's at least a step in the right direction. Hopefully it can at least do something that would be good. But I think that we kind of just have to accept that hackers are probably just going to be a thing now in gaming, right? Because nowadays... Pretty much every game is becoming crossplay with PC now, and a lot of people are just, you know, switching over to PC in general. Whereas back in the day, like, it was mainly console, right? And on console, you didn't really have to worry about hackers as much as you do on PC. But nowadays, like, with everything being PC, I think we might just have to accept the fact that every game is going to have hackers. That's like the main downside of PC, right? Like, you get the better performance, but along with that, you're going to get some hackers in your game. Even in Halo, I run into hackers fairly frequently like even the other day i ran into one on swat which was crazy to me because like i was just trying to do my weekly challenges or whatever you know some kid pulls up in the lobby he went like 46 and 2 keep in mind it's a 50 kill tdm basically so he got pretty much every kill he had like six overkills he was just like spawn killing everyone just going crazy and i'm just like what the fuck is going on like this isn't even a ranked playlist dude like you're coming in you're hacking for xp like you don't even get anything who cares like just leave me alone bro i'm just trying to get my challenges in peace i got this dude coming up in here piecing up the whole lobby like it just didn't even make sense but that's just kind of how it is right like i never really understood the point of people hacking like is it fun like i don't really know like i understand when people want to hack in like you know these hundred thousand dollar war zone tournaments or whatever like if you're actually hacking to like win thousands of dollars okay Okay, I get it. That makes sense. You know, not a good idea, but 
I understand the reasoning behind it, but like people that just like hack to go up in pubs and kill people, like what's the point, man? Is that fun? I don't know. I just don't imagine that's very fun. But yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much it for the video, man. We'll see what happens, but uh, it, it's always good to see something being done about these situations at the very least. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Check out my last video if you missed it. We had to have a little discussion about uh, Sniper Wolf. She got in some drama recently. But uh, yeah, other than that, thank you guys again for watching. Have a good day and peace out.